Hi guys, welcome to Lapa Talks Jewel. I am Tiffany. Thank you so much um, for watching, subscribing, and yes, joining the notification gang. Yes, welcome and happy new year. Like 2020, what do they say? 20 plenty, baby boy, girl. <laughs> okay, so this is my first video for 2020. And today we're going to speak basically about wisdom. Um, wisdom is not really spoken about, but it's something that's really important to have as a believer, as a Christian, basically. Um, so today, I'm just going to do, it's going to be quite short, I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, I just pray and hope that whoever watches this, may the Spirit lead you and may he speak to you through this video and yeah let's do this please make sure you like you share you subscribe um you comment and last but not least join the notification gang if you haven't yes okay so i'm gonna start with proverbs 2 verse 6 for the lord gives wisdom okay from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So where do we get wisdom? From reading like God's word. Like he has the wisdom. That's where like the wisdom comes from. And we're not talking about worldly wisdom like perhaps from books or from people who are smart or whatnot. But we're speaking about like God's wisdom. And this is the kind of wisdom um, that the Lord gives like comes from his knowledge but where do we get this wisdom that he gives from the word like from God's word that's where we get the wisdom from okay and then um, then I'm gonna read okay, I thought I, okay. then I'm gonna also read from Proverbs 9 verse 10 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom so um, as we fear the Lord that's also how we attain more wisdom but fearing the Lord is like a it's it's wisdom already just us fearing the Lord because in that we'll make wise decisions and not fear in I'm scared I think one of my videos already like speaks about like fear, fear, like we, we, whereas um, I honor, like I'm, I'm respecting God, I'm honoring God, that's why I reverence, a fear more of a reverence, not a fear out of like I'm scared of him, no, but a fear as in I reverence God, I acknowledge him, that's why I won't do this or that's why I do this, because I fear him as reverence to him, as glory, as honor, as respect to God basically, okay. And then, um, what are the benefits of having wisdom? It says in Proverbs 4, Proverbs 4 verse um, 6, Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. So if we attain wisdom and if we keep wisdom, okay, it will protect us. I mean, it will help us make wise decisions. Wisdom is that thing of hearing God's word, but also like understanding what it says. Like understanding that, okay, no, like God's word says, um, perhaps, honor, honor your parents, right? And in honoring your parents, sometimes you need to obey them. So if they say maybe perhaps don't go there, that's you honoring your parents, but it is also, Leading to God's wisdom and God's word, which is wise, right? And in that, it protects you. Like if you had to make a decision based on what the Holy Spirit led, instead of like, instead of not listening to the Holy Spirit, you could have been in some danger. But because you listen to the Holy Spirit, therefore, you will protect you against any or against any harm that could have gotten in your way okay um yeah and then another one another benefit 
says in Proverbs 9 verse 11, For through wisdom your days will be many and years will be added to your life. So if we attain wisdom, I mean, it keeps us like it, it protects us. So obviously we're going to live longer, but because we are able to make wise decisions and because we are able to live by God's word and honor God's word, we live longer. Even it says that when we honor our parents, our days will be lent. And that's honoring God's word. That's wisdom. And us honoring God, it's wisdom. It's us being wise by heeding to his word, to his commandments. Um, then okay. it says also in Proverbs 15 verse 7 the lips of the wise spread knowledge but the hearts of the fools are not upright so when you are wise you are able to spread knowledge you are able to speak things that that are of value and not like foolish things like perhaps like gossip or like bringing someone down or like tormenting someone or like making fun of someone but instead you speak wisdom you speak life you guide you encourage you support because you have that wisdom in you through God's word and also through the guidance of the Holy Spirit will give you wisdom to make wise decisions as well and um, yeah and also it says that in Proverbs 13 verse 20 walk with the wise and become wise for companions of fools suffers harm so now this speaks about when we make friends we should make friends of people who are wise how do we know they are wise they affirm the leaders of god's word they follow god's word for god's precepts they they live by god's word they they make wise and better decisions and not like foolish decisions you know and if we surround ourselves by such people eventually that rubs off like it says iron shop of iron so eventually that rubs off on us and we become wise because of the company that we are surrounded by so i hope in 2020 that you attain god's wisdom that you allow yourself to be led by the holy spirit to make wise decisions you uh, read and study God's word and heed to his commandments so that you become wise and you speak and spread wise words, that you spread knowledge, you spread, um, that you give other people courage, that you, that you sow good seeds into other people's lives by the things that you say because of wisdom. Thank you so much for the support, for the likes, for the sharing, for the comments. I appreciate it. I am so grateful and so thankful. Please keep on doing it. And yeah, so if you haven't, please make sure you share. Tell your granny, uncle, opa, uncle, rachadi, cousin, nephew, niece, your neighbor there next door. Be like, hey yo, laptop jewel, it's where it's popping. Um, this year, hopefully, 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 we can, I can be a bit more consistent, but let's get to that. Uh, we aren't now like 200 followers, towards 200 followers now. So, yeah, thank you so much for your support and just keep on sharing, commenting, liking, let me know how you feel. And yes, this is Lapidot Jewel and I am Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching. Wow.